What is up guys or girls or whatever welcome to a new video today We're gonna make a beat and I thought why not just make a video about it a lot of people have been asking me I could also do it in a live stream. But I was like Nah, let's just do it in here. Yeah, we already got the sample ready The samples by AOLA beats shout out to him. He makes amazing Guitar samples no cap. So first thing we do is the BPM is 170 it says it here if you don't know what the BPM is, find it. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paste the pattern in here. First, we're gonna cut these off. So that's a sample, pretty cool sample. Like standard Juice World, Kid Leroy, Ian Dior, whatever type sample. So we're just gonna make a beat with this. I normally just take the main melody and like build up on that. So first thing we're gonna add is a clap. Shout out Ross. I'm using his drum kit today. So we're just gonna put in the clap. Everyone knows how to put a clap. Like it's pretty simple. You just do that. I normally boost it a little bit so it makes it louder. Next thing I normally do is hi-hats. I like this hi-hat, so we're just gonna put it in. I normally just do two-step and then like change a little bit. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. So we got two-step hi-hat now. So I hear something here. I did alt U to do this. And then I'm gonna just drag it down. So we have like this effect. We're just gonna make simple hi-hats, you know, not that, not that special. Not that you know, some simple hi hats. After I put in the hi hats. I normally just put in the snares. I like this snare. So we're just gonna put the snare in, you know. So I do, normally you do one here. And just click wherever it sounds right, to be honest. And then just copy and paste with control B. Pow. Now we have this. Pretty simple. After that, I put in a rim. Random as rim shot. Love rim shots, to be honest. Always turn off blue points. Don't know why it's still in FL. Like, who uses blue points? Like, who uses blue points, bro? No one, bro. Stop. So, yeah. Rim shots. I normally do it in front of the clap, so it's just like, a you know, you know what I mean? Pretty sick, pretty cool. Next thing I do is open hat in the beginning. Wow, pretty amazing, right? Another open hat right here. Wow, it's so pretty already, bro. So pretty. After that, I put in the the bass. We're gonna use the cool bass, the star bass. Shout out star. Don't know who the fuck star is. That sounds cool already. So we're just gonna do the bass notes. Of gonna do control L to make it longer <laughs> we want longer bro we want longer bro so we're just gonna put it down like this and then we're just gonna like make some cuts on where I like this like where I want it you know to be honest gonna make
make it two, two beats. Click this one, cut itself, otherwise it's gonna sound like this. We don't want this sound. This is clashing with each other. We don't want that. So cut itself. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, next thing we do is we grab a kick. Like the 808's is done already. Like don't add too much. I normally boost the kick, hella. Like, okay, that's not that much, but I normally just boost the kick. Of course, on the master, we need that soft clipper. We need that soft clipper. So what I normally do now is just click pattern and like see where the eight like where I can put the kick. I normally don't put the kick on every 808 because that sounds I don't even know how to explain it, it just sounds weird. Let's skip that one. What will the dunk on do? We're gonna put this like that. And we're just gonna mix it basically. So we're gonna remove this, then click here, split by channel, easy, drag it under it, make everything as tall or like as long as we want. So we're gonna start off with the main melody. Beautiful. We're gonna turn the 808 on. We don't want something to clash, so we're just going to grab an EQ. Bring down the parts, it clashes. I normally don't take out all the, like, the bass and shit, because it sounds weird. Just remove a little bit so it sounds good. Clap, make it mono. I had to make it mono as well. What I normally do is so you get the kick, you know, and the 808. Click here, click side chain, go to limiter. Oh, remove these. Cause I don't know why they add those. Those just make it fucked up. Then do this, this, this. It's random, but it sounds good. If you don't know what side chaining does, it just look it up on YouTube. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so I don't like some of the high frequencies of this 808, so just gonna just gonna take those out. I'm gonna boost the 808 a little bit. Then we're just gonna copy and paste everything, remove the first thing. Then we're gonna add these. Like that. Like that. Wow. Uh, and now we almost have the beat done. You know. Like that. How? Beautiful. You can also, of course, add effects and shit. So we're also gonna do that. Let me check. Take this rise. That's basically it. So that's how you make a beat, or at least how I do it. If you learned anything, let me know, cause I'm literally just freestyling it. I don't know what I'm doing. So if you learned anything, if you learned anything from it, let me know.
if you want to see more videos let me know too it's a pretty boring video i'm probably going to release this beat so check the link in the description if you want to download the beat and use it you know how it goes if you want to purchase it <laughs> i don't know what to say it's like a weird ass video but shout out to y'all and i'll see you guys in the next video